Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to create the rain particle system. And we're going to do that first by dragging in the smoke prefab from our standard assets and particle systems prefabs. Now, I know what you're thinking at the moment. How can smoke look like rain? But please don't worry, it will do as we actually make some changes here and we're going to be making a lot more changes than we have previously but this isn't a bad place to start with the smoke prefab so the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of these two scripts here so we'll remove those and let's have a look we don't need force over lifetime and we don't need color over lifetime and let's have a look we'll leave size over lifetime as it is for now and we can untick the rotation over lifetime and then we're going to come to the main settings here and uh, we're going to pre-warm and start lifetime let's um, give this a value of 4 and we'll give this a value of 8 and let's come down and start size I'm actually going to double 4 let's have a look I might reduce this one yeah, let's try value of 6 actually okay and the start rotation we're going to set both of these to zero and the gravity modifier I think we'll set to zero as well and simulation space we'll set to local and the shape we'll leave it as shape play on awake add max particles I'm going to give this value of 20,000. So, okay, it's looking quite a bit different now. The next thing I'm going to do is just, uh, we're going to reset the rotation. And we'll set the rotation to a value of 90 degrees here. We'll worry about the position later. So with that done, we'll downsize that, we'll come to emission. And I'm going to give this a value of 2000. Uh, we can leave the rest and we'll come to shape. And the shape I'm going to change to is a box. And let's give it some values. We'll give it a value of 200 by 200 and we'll give this a value of 25. Now you must bear in mind when setting these values that uh, we already have our rotation in place. So, okay. Now that looks a lot different, but it still doesn't look like rain. So let's downsize shape for now. And we'll come to renderer. And I think I'm going to leave most of these as they are. Now you may want to disable the cast shadow options um, just for performance related so depending on what you're running on you may want to set this on or off and we'll downsize render it for now and the next thing we need to do is obviously change the texture here now I've made a very quick rough texture um, if I come to my materials folder as you can see if we open it up I've just created a white square in paint shop and I've just drawn some grey lines on it. Now I know this looks very rough 
and obviously you guys can spend a lot of time making your texture nice but sometimes with rain a rougher look can actually um, look a little bit more realistic once we actually apply it to our particle system um, just because it helps us not have any sort of really straight lines and um, if the lines are too straight in the texture it it can start to look a little false but obviously this is very rough and you can make a much nicer one but um, don't worry too much about straight lines that's why I've used like the spray can effect to create this texture we can leave the shader as it is and we'll just drag and drop that on and now if we come in we can see the shader in effect or the texture in effect so as you can see it's just sort of uh, it's not actually moving down as such or not very fast anyway so let's come back and tweak a few more things so in fact we'll leave that at uh, local I think and we'll change the gravity modifier and let's give this a value of in fact 2 may be a bit too much let's just try value of 1 and as you can see now it looks like falling rain and once we have it to this state what we need to do is we'll drag the smoke onto the weather game object we'll rename it to rain and we don't want to reset everything we just want to reset the position because as you all know the weather follows the player overhead we already have that within our script so I've done this very quickly in this lesson. Now, obviously, you can spend as much time as you want tweaking these settings to really make it look nice and really suit your project. But, um, you know, we'll leave it here for this lesson, I think. Um, we have a pretty uh, decent rain effect for such a quick video and obviously um, myself I will um, go ahead and tweak these options further so I encourage you to do so but uh, I hope you enjoyed this lesson I hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now